bad for the. For it's the uh, it's about it's about an eight foot, eight foot jump, which is much smaller than the last one. That oh. you did. Oh, so this this is this is no issue. You just do a standing there. You're like, Whoa. yeah, I can probably Why just. Why are we jumping across to fight these guys? Because we can't get them from here. Well, Actually, what's can the I? point of killing him? Is there Excuse even me, They murdered this dwarf king. Hold up, and they're they're evil and they're working for the bad the the evil they're god that's gonna. Can I, can I kind of get his shoulder? I'm going I don't to. Think I can can I? I'm going to make big boy jumps. Is that athletics or acrobatics? That would be um that would be acrobatics this time. Last time I let athletics roll, but oh. that's fine. <laughs> No, 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 you're, you're actually Bobby. fine. You're actually fine because you're tall. You know, <laughs> yeah, honestly, no, no, no. First of all, cool. first of all, it's an eight foot jump. You're you're athletic oh, and you're tall okay. and you're strong, so eight eight is fine. Like you would have fucked up if you were like four, boy. maybe. It's beef boy. Initiative, it's everybody beef. rolls. All right, let's freaking do it. Seven. Oh fuck. All right, pal, stay alive. Uh. <laughs> If you need to, <laughs> just Kool-Aid man your way back. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're just... right. <laughs> All right, can I can I go to town on these bozos or do? One moment. Freaking nerds. <laughs> All right, this is such a stupid idea, but whatever. We so already one of them, lost one the of them, one of them goes first, um, and then and then hold on. Uh, so yeah, one of them goes first, then fell. So okay. The one up here does a throwing dagger at you. Dink. Right, dink, dink, right, right. right. Just bounce. Just what is dink. your AC? 19. Beef boy. Dude, that comes so close to th getting thrown on your neck. It hits like the oh. like the, 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 co the collar of your metal, the the armor. You're good though. Dink. All right. There it is. So, so he, it's, the, it's this man's right here that decided to throw that knife at me. This one threw it at you. This one is slightly burnt. These behind you appear to be fine, other than the self, the self burns. <laughs> All right, so you, you get to die first. The first one goes towards the burnt man. The second one is going to go towards the man who threw the dagger at me. Got it, so. got it. One, two. Both hit. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Beef. First man, first man dies instantly. Actually, that's like exactly oh, the amount shit. of damage you needed. Woo. Nice. These guys are not uh, as heavily armored as the other guys you fought upstairs. These guys are more like you saw in the picture in robes and stuff. Um, yeah, first guy's down. You see, like a, uh, a whole screen. I need to get, I need to get a token for dead bodies. One sec. Get him, pal. Do the got no this. pants man. You yeah, know, no love pants the no man. pants man. <laughs> Even the no pants man needs to make a return. Pants. I need better. I need better death tokens, honestly. You hit him so hard it removes his pants. Ah, uh, his favorite. pants man. It's my favorite. No okay, pants. Okay. Uh, second one did seven damage. That that hurts him. Crowd favorite. No pants man. No pants man. Win. Um, Reslin, make a perception roll. Uh. I... Ooh, solid. Heck. Something good this time. You see that since the uh, magical crystal has been removed and the walls shut down, that transmutation magic that you've seen in this dungeon before is at work again, and slowly, a stone bridge is growing across as there's no longer a magical charge preventing it from being there. Huh. But this is still in the process of growing this round. Um, but it's coming across from the side. Oh. Okay, next it is, uh, there's two, you got, uh, Fal uh, Lorien's turn. My turn. Get him. Okay. Can I see any of these guys from where I'm at? You can see from where you're currently standing, the one on the top, which is injured. Yeah, you can get him. Okay, all right, well, you know what I'm going to do, right? Firebolt, I assume. Death. Yep. That does hit. Uh, 17 damage, are you serious? Oh my gosh! I, I, I'm not. A little... Three are you, sure you're, are you sure you're rolling that right? That's no, a lot that's of correct. damage. Was, yeah, that's correct. It. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. firebolt does two d10 damage. Wow. Okay, yeah. that guy is actually dead. Man. 
These guys are like short work anyway. They, they were not they were not expecting you guys in their lair. We got them. Well then. It's too bad we couldn't save the dwarf king. Indeed. Oh well. Next it is uh, both of the cultists turn behind Falminar. They have hey, short look, swords. Can't now. They also have daggers on their belts, um, but they have their short swords drawn. First one stabs directly into Falminar's back, but hits the armor. And the second one also stabs directly into the armor, which protects him. That's some good armor. Yeah. <laughs> dink, dink. Okay. And next it is Cedric's move. These guys are now in view of you. All right. And produce flame. Pew. Yate. They okay, make the rolls. Can't see that. I don't know. I'm glad. There we go. Yeah. So it's a 19 to hit, right? And what is the damage? Yeah. 11. 11. Uh, and shillelagh my stick, I guess. Okay. Next, it is Resolent's turn. Would you like to do anything, Resolent? Don't forget, you have a... Um, I know you need to D&D. There's a spell page in case you have any spells you might want to use. I think most of your spells are like control or RP related, not necessarily um, full on evocation or attack. Is there anything you'd like to do, Resolent? Oh, sorry, what? I was brushing my hair and I'm a No, no, I was saying, is there anything you'd like to do? Um, Commodore seems to be handling the situation pretty well, but you do see that these cultists are not paying attention to us. They try to stab through the armor. Okay, yeah, let's try to hurt them. Okay, okay. Let me see what you have. I think I have daggers if we're going with weapons. If not, I got magic. You and do daggers. have daggers. Oh, a dagger okay. would be fine. Do you want to try to throw the dagger? Or do you want to run up and try to stab the one in front of you? It'll be easier to try to stab him. It. Okay. Yeah, try and stab him. So, is her thing ready to go if she clicks on dagger attack? Uh, let me check. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and do that, Rizalyn. On your character sheet, there's a dagger attack there. I'll move your token up. <laughs> right above your, like, money and stuff. A dagger attack? Yeah, so it's right below, like, below your, your, like, health and hit dice. It's just to the right of your skills. It says, like, dagger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, 24. Ooh. Does she have to roll the damage separately, or...? Uh, no, so on the roll part, just click the word dagger. Yep, click the I word did. dagger. Wait. Yeah, where I rolled it. It's so like where the 24 is, click the... just click dagger. Oh, like right here on the... I'll, I'll just do it for Yeah. Her. So right oh. here on the actual thing, okay. Oof. He's significantly oh. injured. He's all injured. Next is Falminar's turn. <laughs> beef boy, get him. <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> team beef. And by team oh, beef, I mean man. literally just him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. The, the one that Reslin just stabbed is dead. The other one is injured. He's freaking dead, Jim. They killed him. Kill him dead. Nice. God, I feel bad. I feel like I'm like You're stealing one man your army right kills. Now. I'm like stealing your kills. This isn't like fun. Like, hi, I'm taking away your life privileges. <laughs> your life? <laughs> Taken. Your, your life mean, is mine your, now. your job is killing people and protecting them people. The, some of their jobs is sometimes... And you're real good at it. Stopping magic and shit. So yeah, no, you're doing your job. Um, Let me switch this one with the dead one. No pants man? Um, so yeah, the other, the other one's barely alive with uh, Lorian's turn. He is within your view. Oh, hmm. good turn. He's like, go run up well, and slap him in the face till he dies. Just whack. Oh. Ooh. oh. Misses, that, misses, this. misses. Next, it is uh, one of these guys' turn. The only guy's turn. <laughs> the one guy. The one guy. But he's up against a Balmar fixed that problem real fast. He he just scrambles at you with his sword, but just hits the armor again. Like you're just so well armored. Yeah, the armor is protecting you, your ass. Uh, now it is uh, Cedric's turn. Oh, uh, uh. 
Ah, I gotta think my okay fire again thingy. Boop. Hits so, how much damage? Twelve. Twelve. He is dead. They're all dead. Yeah. Uh, their way is clear, and the bridge is across. Yeah. Okay. These cultists all just have daggers, short swords, and ropes. That is all they have. Um, this dwarf is wearing a finely this made royal robe and a uh, golden crown. He seems to be, have been murdered by four dagger wounds at the same time. Why don't we take him off of this altar before anything else happens? I push him off the altar. Oh. Yeah. Such a disrespect for the dead. As, as he dead. falls to the ground, the crown falls off his head and rolls next to the pyre and comes to a, a halt. I He's pick dead. the crown up. There you go. You can tell that it is finely crafted and is of dwarven uh, artistry. Where did they get him? That's a good question. They stole him. You see that the somewhere. blood from the dwarf has mm -hmm. dripped into the carvings on the the altar here and has flowed through the different carvings to illuminate the the, the symbols. The symbols do not make any sense to you, but they are uh, filled with his blood. Well, shit. Uh, do I have paper? Should we put out the other fires? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I should get out. rid of the blood first. Rest and digitation the... can take care of the blood too. It can kind of wash it aside. Okay, I'm I'm gonna get rid of the blood. I guess I don't have to keep hitting prestidigitation. No, no, no. Fire. It's clear. It's clear. The blood kind of pushes off of the top and is now more messy on the floor, but it's not filling the sigils anymore. Well, that's probably good that we stopped whatever was happening, but this poor bastard. Is there He's anything, dead. like, in his, on his person that's identifying other than, you know, the crown? Just the crown and his robe. Um... And then Falmar make a perception roll. Yep. Hey, Lorian. Yes. Do you have any more paper and ink? Yes. I see a passage this way. Neat. Nice. Can I have a piece of paper and some ink? I want to write these down and see if I could find something on them. Guys, looks like it continues this yep. way. I stuffed the crown in my bag. And I, I hand over, you know, ink and paper and quill to... Thank you. To make, sure to, make sure to write that down. By the way, yeah. does anybody have any, like, healing potions hey. or... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> he's, he's, been, he's been through hell. You stop right there. You violate the law. I'm gonna slap you with some heals. Please. But heals. Rosalind, your basilisk is crying in your hands. Ooh. Ten uh -huh. heals. Thanks oh. for the 10. Hey, Cedric, that I'm poor hurt. little lizard baby is, is hurt. I know, I'ma help him. Alright, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Alright, let's see. What do I got? I got stuff that could probably help with stuff. I can we... gather all kinds of random crap. Can we, like, stuff him in a bag? That way he doesn't <laughs> get hurt again. <laughs> I, I presume that question is directed toward Ro Resolin. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to look at his tail. So Dizafalminar is asking if they can put your basilisk in a bag or something to keep it more under control. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sounds awful. It might needs oxygen, doesn't it? Well, I mean, we're not gonna like, I'm gonna, like keep him from breathing, but we need to keep. Are you how living? About, how about how about a leash? Uh, I think mean, he's obviously an intelligent creature, though. So you need to keep that in mind. He's just a baby, so he doesn't know what's he's, safe and what's not. He's a small little boy. But he's obviously intelligent. He's not displaying the behavior of, of a mere animal. Yeah. Uh okay. Anyway, let's I mean, let's see if we can get him healed first. Oh, this looks like a tight spot. It does. It's big enough for you to fit through. I just I just roll yeah. with the map and some of its weird little windows and shit. Um, but yeah, you can you can easily walk through that single file. 
Um, if you peer down there, you see a stone button on the left. <laughs> and I don't you like see, these. And you see a, a pen where you believe that the prisoner was kept. And you believe that this cell was particularly well hidden because he was a particularly high profile prisoner. Hmm. Okay. So, one thing. Give him a little bit of cinnamon, cinnamon just because that's going to help his life better. Uh, reduce the inflammation. It's going to be good. Because uh, I got some of that. <laughs> I got all kinds of just random crap. Do you Do feed him the cinnamon, like... Resolin? Do I feed him it? Mm hmm. Cedric is good with herbs. He's a druid. So he's good with herbs, plants, okay. and yeah, nature and animals. Will. Okay. So, so it's just like a little pinch of cinnamon dust because he's still a little baby. He eats it and his eyes shimmer and he giggles. Cool. Um, right. So he's still, he's still actively wounded though, right? He um, lost a piece of his not. tail. Yeah. I will look at the tail because if it's a lot of fire, it might have instantly cauterized. Which would be fantastic. I just smacked my mic. Sorry about that. I have a minor healing potion. I don't have any. Otherwise, I would. Otherwise, I would give him one. I I I feed the basilisk baby the minor healing potion. Do you let the, Do you let her, him do that, uh, Resolent? Yes, uh, Resolent. Do you let yeah. Lorian do that to your basilisk? Oh wait, what'd she want to do? I mean, Minor healing it. potion. Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. So it takes a sip of it. It doesn't use the whole thing. You still have the potion to use, um, but it drinks oh, okay. a small sip of it. You immediately notice more of its tail falling off and it falls to the floor. And after that happens, it begins to grow a full tail. Now, Cedric, even without a roll, knows that many lizards in nature can lose their tail as a defense mechanism, and they regrow they another one, and you are speeding up the process with the healing potion. Yeah. I, I right. gently, I gently, Nim always says that uh, she's still here. I gently stroke the eye ridge of the basilisk. It purrs. <laughs> it's a little lizard purr. It's adorable. <laughs> All right, little little pit pit and all right. So yeah, <laughs> fell, fell's good, lizard's good. Is anyone else nearly dead? You all good? <laughs> I'm very slightly singed, I, but I'm okay. Got. I either got a little bit of heals or a ton of it. <laughs> it's like no in between. Resident, you have I'm sand okay. in your hair from the sand wall. It's not pleasant. Ew, well then I need to just bath. You do have I, any I... brush though, that's special brush. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't want to use that, you're scaring me. I've heard of a brush, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay, what do you I all fluff, do now? I fluff the tiefling's hair and, and shake, shake it to make Fluff a flash. cloud of sand. <laughs> yeah, fluff, 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 just like a pile of sand. Alright, oh, you and me, fat, let's do this. Team beef, or well, half beef. Team beef. You're, you're in beef on my behalf. On my, two, on my behalf. Two and a half beef. Two and right. a half beefs. Beef so in you, less beef. So you do clear, you do clear this in here. You see there's a bedpan, um, or whatever, a chamber pot, and uh, that button, you're not sure what the button does. Do I, left beef. Do I, do I press the button? Uh, let's step back and push it with your axe. Okay. We step back and I because push it with my axe. So when you do that, um, uh, Reslin, Lorian, and Nimwale see all of the small marble-sized crystal surge with en energy and explode. You uh, realize, Lorian, that that switch most likely was powering these walls on and off. And since you disrupted the chain of energy, it overloaded the remaining crystals and burst them. Oh. But if they were operational, you would have been standing directly in the wall of ice and you would have been injured by the wall of ice that would have emerged where you were standing. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, well. Oh, yikes. Okay. okay. So you said that there was nothing in here? All according to plan. Nothing in there, just a chamber pot. And you think that that might be where that 
dwarven royalty was being kept. All right, absolutely nothing in here. All right, all according to plan. That was totally what we meant to do. Everybody okay in here? We heard explosions. We heard blue. We heard boom. That was probably a yeah, dumb idea, we, but whatever. We, you did something that would have killed us all if I hadn't fucked it up already. So, uh, good job. All right, cool. I Just planned. Ah. Hey, hey, okay. Nim. Nim, come here. Nim. She walks over and begins playing his lute out of respect for the dead dwarven toot, toot. man. Good so man. once Nim gets like right next to me, I wanna grab her and pull her through the wall. <laughs> oh, through the fake wall. And there we go. You mother Nim. Fuck. One second. Uh, <laughs> it's for your own good Nim. I swear no, to that's not why I did though. Fucking kill all. All right, so I saved your life. Keep in mind. <laughs> so I'm thinking, children, that the puzzle. How many how many statues do we have in total? I have. Um, I have. I have four. three. You have three. Um, and, and, and Roslyn has two, so we have nine statues. Okay. Uh... We have nine statues and we need three of them. And what was it? We, we had... Sorted. She... Sorted. Sorted. Sword... And swarded. So... Sw swarded. I'm thinking... Swatted. All right. So, 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 so hear me out. Mm hmm The nude woman with her legs spread, obviously the middle one sorted. Oof, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, uh, sorted. I have a, uh... Coming back. I have a statue with an abacus. Do we have anything else that, that... That talks that would be more indicative of sorting things? I have a bear, an apple, and a huntsman with a spear. So, no. Okay, and, and... And what did, um... Ro Rosalind, what do your two statues? Can I see them? What, what, what do they have on them? What are they? I'm sorry, I... I did she not out four minutes. So the statues uh, that you collected much earlier, the ivory statues, did you write down what they we were? At? We're well, up. No, go, I did go not. Up. Oof. Okay. So read off the ones that you guys did find and I'll be able to read which ones she did found. Did I get the cock? You did get did the she got a rooster? Yes, yes, you did. Oh, she got she got an anvil, an <laughs> anvil and a rooster. Okay. So so the anvil might be the sworded one because you make a sword <laughs> on an anvil, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't. So, like an apple, I don't think is something that is sorted, and a huntsman, I don't think is something that's sorted because he has a spear, not a sword, right? And I have a warrior with a bow, and a quill with an ink bottle. Mm. So I'm thinking, abacus. Nude woman and anvil. What do you all think? Uh, it's just about all we got. Yeah, try it. All right, let's try it. So you see I'll three, here. three empty yeah, pedestals gonna... by the throne. Do you put one of them each on one of the three pedestals? Yes. First the abacus, then the naked woman, and then the anvil. As soon as you place the last one on. The pedestals magically bind to the statuettes. They rotate, revealing three separate potions, and you hear a large sound smashing a door open back from somewhere near where the well was. Oh. Oh, that door. Uh, I, I, oh, okay. Can I try to be sneaky over to here? Please so I look at the at the at the potions and I say I think each of us should grab a potion at the same time just in case it tries to you know only let us take one. Okay. Please don't say it's enough bloody. Make an arcana roll, Lorian, as you pick them or as you look at them. Yeah. Can I be? Can I do a sneak down to look down this hallway? Uh, you can. Just a moment, uh, Lorian. You. 
deem them okay. each to be a potion of flying, a potion of gaseous form, and a potion of mind reading. Hey, we got the gaseous one back. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna um, try and grab the flying one personally, but... Uh, Cedric, you see nothing different as you peer around that corner. Hey! Okay. So, um, I don't know, Fel, the Nar, and, and, uh, the... I don't know, Archimus, somebody, y'all want to come up and we can each grab a potion at the same time, just in case? Yep. Reslin, make a dexterity saving throw. Huh? Oh, I have to open my thing. Hold on, sorry. I accidentally clicked out. Where is my dexterity? A dexterity saving? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is the baby jumping out of my freaking arms it again? It jumped out of your arms again, and it runs <laughs> over... <laughs> runs over to this big stone door with the strange empty hole in the front of it. This and keeps, dang, baby. It keeps sniffing at that door, but there's no way through. Can I try to, like, beckon it towards me? Just like, hey, come here. It comes back to you. It sees you as a place of security after you've been helping it throughout the day. Okay. I got... I I'm protect. And I'm gonna go look, over here. I look over and but I... It, run, it runs back to Resolin now. Sorry, go ahead, Lauren. Yeah, there you go. I say, well, you know, one of these is a potion of gaseous form. I, I got you. Probably can gaseous form through and, and, and maybe, I don't know, open it from the other side. Dead threat? Not. All right, so let's all pick up a potion at the same time. Three, two, one, go. Yoink. Okay. Yeah. Did anything change when we pick those up? No. But which one did you each okay. choose? I got fly. Oh. The so right far there, you're right one. The far right one is the potion of mind reading. And the Falminar got gaseous form. Oh, read right. my mind. Oh, read my mind. I can turn it to gas. <laughs> Actually, Reslin, you have that power. You can read anybody's mind um, if you burn That's a spell true. slot. Oh. Oh, we're going to read Lorian's mind. No, just <laughs> you don't want to read Lorian's mind. <laughs> Lorian is... <laughs> it's just blank. It's just utter chaos. <laughs> Lorian's just... mind is probably just like, ah, just lots of A's. Ah. <laughs> no, it's the freaking battery <laughs> meme one where it's just, ah. 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 <laughs> okay, so... So we'll come back Mims to that. is just going to be like a full on like bulls and everything. So there was something muttering over there and it could be something really dangerous. So everybody uh, group up, please. That sounds everybody like a terrible idea. But but we need to remember that uh, that Mr. Happy was sniffing at that door. And I think that we could that I, I can get through with Cassius form because that's a thing that I can do. Yeah. I know I can get through. I won't be able to come back through if I can't open it, but whatever. Hmm. I'd have to chill for a bit. Hmm. Do my 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 aunt my shifty thing. Yes. Now one more of those. I'm gonna chill right here next to this door. All right. So is I'm, it? I'm chill next to this door. Is every you want to like drag everybody else with us, uh, Steve? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Door. Uh, d you picked up your baby, like right, uh, Rosalind? Uh, yeah, it ran back to me. Okay, good. Fel, Falminar, you want to come up with me? Thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah. You see that this door is now right. open? Beef boy. That, I am beef. I, I am beef. I sure do love myself a nun pizza with left beef. Yes, left none beef. pizza with left beef for everybody. All right, so we got ourselves a corridor here. Um, I want to keep my eye on that well. The rest of y'all can can come this way. They they come in. They're just gonna stay. I none can't pizza I can't turn my this. character because the 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 edit gear keeps covering it. If, if, if you, you zoom in and out, it'll change it. Yeah. There's a stone door here. Team beef. Open sesame. <laughs> Rolls a the, two. The, 
the door does not open. Now Whoa. the door opens. <laughs> the, the door, <laughs> the door does not open. Yeah, finally, the door, the door finally back open. showed up the wizard with your strength. <laughs> the door does not open. Never mind. It does open. Oh! What's that? <laughs> That's a worthy opponent. That's what I see. It's, well, it's second team beef. We don't know if it's bad. Team it's rotten got, beef. I mean, he, he do kind what of is, What is it? Oh, an iron. Oh. Oh, that looks a lot more terrifying a, than what the avatar is. That's a dope or Welcome iron golem. To the Nomad State. Oh, hello. I'm Lorian. I am the, um, I am the cousin of. Oh, what was her name? What was her name, Steve? I'm a... it's, it's been so long. Um, El, uh, El. <clears throat> yes, her name is uh, El Irwell Nelthanar. Good on you. I am I am Irwell's cousin. Uh, we've been told that we've inherited this uh, estate, and that you are. Um, are you the uh, pet of uh? Of my cousin and 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 her husband. Did you just call a guardian a pet? <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Are you guests of the master? I am the inheritor, in fact. So yes, guest and inheritor. I show my um. I show my uh. My uh, signet ring. And scroll of ped pedigree. Pedigree. I hold them up in front of the, in front of the golem. He then turns to Falminar and says, "Yes. Are you a guest of the master? You, uh, you're, you're cutting off, Steve. Yeah, you're cutting off. Are you, you a guest of if, like a guest uh, of? Are you them. a guest of the master? Uh, uh, seeing as I was escorting the master here, uh, absolutely." He then turns to Cedric. To Cedric. <laughs> are you are you a guest of the master? master? Yes. I was assisting them in their journey here. Then you are welcome. Thank you. Really appreciate your hospitality. Say, uh, Guardian, what's behind you? The prison. Oh, is something in the prison currently? The prisoners are within the prison. Ah. Can you please give me a list of current prisoners? We have the half elf, we have the human, and we have the gnome. And do you have... What was the last one you cut out? The gnome, he said. And you hear chattering behind him echoing through the halls. I would like to inspect the prisoners. Can you please move aside? <clears throat> In order for me to help you, you need to give me the greatest weapon. You need to bring me the greatest weapons that kings covet, that puts warriors to ruin, and that ends all battles. But you may pass. Uh, I hold up the quill and ink statue? No. The quill with ink bottle statue? Do you mean, do you mean this? Beside me are several weapons to choose from. There is Deathbringer. Oh. There is Mercy Climber. There is Giant Toe. There is Quicksilver, there is Midnight Sun, there is Peacemaker, there is Kingslayer. King's what? And as, and as uh, Kingslayer, as he shows you each of these weapons, you see that Deathbringer is a Warhammer, bright yellow with a leather handle. Mercy Climber, a glaive, bright blue blade with black leather, braided handle. Giant Toe, a maul, giant skull with mouth open and maul protruding. Quicksilver, a pike, dark green jade blade with bamboo handle. Midnight Sun is a quarterstaff, braided dark and light wood with teal crystal inlays. Peacemaker, a longsword, rusted with an olive branch wrapped around it. And Kingslayer, morning star with a black handle with milk white head sculpted with a face. 
There are seven weapons in these racks beside him. He says that you can pass, but if you need his assistance in any matter, you must first give him the greatest weapon, the weapon that kings covet, the weapon that puts warriors to ruin, and the weapon that ends all battles. Uh, Nim would pick really up tech. Peacemaker. Ugh. So make um make a perception roll on Peacemaker. Have a closer look at it. No, can someone do that for me, please? I'll do that for you. Cheers. I don't like this. This is this is scary. <laughs> Why is? Impulsive as Nim, the one. Because it's because it's Nim. Okay, that's like seventeen roll. So as you pick up Peacemaker, one of the seven weapons, you see that it is a long sword. Although it is rusted, you see it is wrapped around the blade with an olive branch. Actually, that was kind of the one I was thinking of too. She would walk up to the guardian and uh, ask it if. This was the weapon. She, uh, that if this is the weapon, place in my hand what you believe to be the correct weapon. She places it in it. This sword is not the correct weapon. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hmm. Uh. What could it be? Maybe the moon could be. Uh... As you What's remove, as you remove the sword, you notice that the olive branch falls from the blade. Hmm. Oh, just the olive branch itself. Uh, I pick up the olive branch and hand it to the to the to the uh, Cullen. Is this it? Of all of the weapons you have chosen. You have chosen the greatest weapon. It is the weapon that kings covet. It is the weapon that puts warriors to ruin. And it is the weapon that ends all battles. I can assist you in any way as guests of the Belmare estate now. Sweet. Thank you. And I, I try to high five Nimalway. Will Nimalway high five so, me back? Nim, uh, I'm going to give you an inspiration point for making a first try at, out of seven weapons, the uh, closest call there. Yeah, that's, that's good. Well done. He already I'm, has inspiration, but yeah. Inspiration point. <laughs> I'm yes. confused by that. How does that... So out of character, let me explain. So um, an olive branch yeah. generally means uh, peace. And so of all these weapons of war, the olive branch wrapped around the blade is the thing that will end all battles because peace can end all battles. Peace can put all warriors um... to ruin because what, what point are warriors with peace? And kings covet peace because they want peace during their time of reign. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Good job. So, so does Nimalwe high five me back? <laughs> She looks at him funny and then backs up. <laughs> oh, cousin I'll go burn. For and <laughs> high five you to not leave you hanging. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 So I as as Rosalind <laughs> peeks into the room, he says, "He says, huh? is this a guest of my master?" Yes. I guess we could get the rest okay. of them in here and say they're all guests. Okay, yeah. if you do that, then he then accepts you all as guests. Uh, Iron okay, Golems, uh, you you know you know in character that Iron Golems are much like uh, programmed mechanisms that follow orders like an algorithm. I like that. He's cool. All right. He's also really uh, fucking dangerous, so it's a good thing you're playing along. That's why I was scared. Gar oh, Guardian, like, mess up. We can get. <laughs> Freaking deleted. How about we all go into the prison now, Guardian? Yes, I will lead the way. Thank you. Okay. I need to reveal for a moment. Mm -hmm. Oh. There we go. That that's some Dark Souls looking shit there. By right, the way. that's what I thought. I'm like, that looks freaking terrifying. Jesus Christ. The, the model it has is not nearly as scary, but I saw the freaking picture. I'm like, um, it's a lot more intimidating now. I mean, actually, is that from Dark Souls? Probably. Wouldn't surprise me.
Actually, yeah, it does look like armor from Dark Souls. I think that yeah. is armor from Dark Souls. Yeah, I, I think that is Dark Souls, yes. This is just bouncing around the room like a freaking bouncy ball. So all those, the, all those doors look open. They're actually uh, closed metal doors, um, but the image shows <laughs> them as open. Can we see in them at all? Uh, they're they're closed. All of oh, them don't have they don't have holes. N no windows. No. There there's there. there's like small holes to breathe, but they're not aligned, so you can't see through them. But there's air that flows through. Go! Wait! 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 Hey, wait. No! Come back here! Stop! Come she, back! She can do that in character. Yes, so, but we're yelling. So, no, but so yeah, we're yelling that, in character. So they're saying that in character. What do you do, Rosalyn? I come back. <laughs> okay. We'll get we'll get Mims, to it. We'll get to it. There are people Don't that worry. probably need help. Uh, Hello so Resolin, there. Resolin, Resolin did run up, so let me do a perception roll. She did run up to the last door. So do a perception roll. That, that is correct. Do a perception roll? Yes, because you did run up. Okay, so when you ran up above that pool of water, you saw a mural painted as a fresco on the walls depicting a fig tree with mysterious faces of noble individuals painted on the branches it appears like a family tree of some sort but the the fresco is badly damaged so you can't really make out the uh expressions or the facial features and there's Mims, more to see but you yeah. ran back before you could investigate the rest hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll do Mims that we'll do that together knife across all the walls Ugh. ah i see you're back at the redecorating I thought I got eaten by two wolves today, so fuck you. Uh, I'm I'm calling into this door here. Hello there. Is, is anybody there? Are you awake? Nim Nox. Kitten. You're all the way back there. Oh yeah, you're on the phone, never mind. So um you call that way, but you hear a voice coming from another angle. You hear a voice coming from this way. Which way? And it says Hello? 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 Oh, have we heard- is, is that a gnome I hear? How did you know? Is- where is it? Because I didn't see what you were bleeping on me. Did you mean here, oh, Steve? Oh, oh, back here, back here. Oh, back here. Huh. Yes, h hello. Uh, who, who's there? It's me, Tobin, the Jester. Tobin the the jester. Alright, well I'm Lorian, the the really, really sexy wizard. So, um <laughs> how did you get down here? I don't know, they've done magic on my mind, on my memory. But I'm Tobin the Jester and that's all I need to remember. I need to get back to my friends and family. Okay. Hey Guardian, can can you open this door? N no. We're not going to open the door. They're in here for a reason. Yeah, because some evil culty people put them in here. They were well, trying to do some kind of sacrifice thing in the other room over there. They just sacrificed a Dwarven king. Where do you think they, you know? But who's to say that he's not hostile? Well, then we find out. So we figure out why he's here first. I feel like if anyone would know, he would know. I'll stand back here. Y'all take care of it. I'm you sound like an elf. Here. Yep. What's the difference between a, an onion and an elf? Oh, I don't God. know what. You cry when you cut an onion. Oh. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I go back to this other door. Is anybody in here? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. I think he gets Let's to stay. Let's just leave. Let's just leave that guy. <laughs> yeah, I think he gets to stay. Why do elves? Why do elves have pointy ears? <laughs> well, I'm gonna pound on the door. Shut up! <laughs> why do elves get? There's got, there's, there's, oh. there's got to be there's got to be some point to elves. You why, keep making those why did jokes the gnome and not end out. up dying alone of starvation slowly in a dungeon at the bottom of a mountain? Nimlock hey, listen, I, I've been trapped in here for a very long time. Humor is the only thing that keeps me going. Please. Keep making jokes please. like that, you're gonna stay here. <laughs> please, I what? Don't we release him. <laughs> please, let me out. I can get us out of these mountains, too. 
<laughs> can I keep the most? But you don't pocket? remember how you got here. How can you get us out? Can, Have you ever heard of can, a dirigible before? Uh, one of those big floaty things, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Have you not been on one of those before? One time. Oh, God. You know, we had these berries, and there were three ladies, and and a couple of, of, of male gnomes. Anyway, uh, yes, I do vaguely remember a dirigible ride once, one so, magical, magical night. when he says that, Resolin, Resolin actually came to be in the mountains by traveling by dirigible. And that's when she had to make a very quick escape because she was caught for fraud while on the dirigible. She's a con artist. I remembered her background story, by the way. So her and that elf had to uh, make a quick exit. He, she was traveling with the elf because he was an archaeologist and she got stranded. So she knows of these gnomish dirigibles, these flying ships. Um, so she's heard of them. So Reslin, you should probably speak up and say, yes, they do exist. You've ridden on gnomish dirigibles before. Oh, jeez. <laughs> also, I know this is what unrelated. Is but the dirigible. This is a flying a ship. It's like a it's like a hot air balloon, but like a ship that hangs beneath it. Like a blimp? Yeah, it's kind of like a blimp, yeah. You can say they exist, DeLorean, to just, you know, clarify. Yeah, they exist. Don't mean to break it to him, but I think he forgot that gnomes also have pointy ears. No, yeah, he just... His jokes don't it always make sense. Uh, all right. Uh, did does is the are there keys hanging anywhere in here? <clears throat> in the room, uh, make an investigation roll. <sighs> you do not see keys hanging anywhere. You see that these doors are all metal. They're all fairly tightly sealed except for air holes, and you do see that there is more to be examined with that fig fresco big tree fresco okay all right let's all go up here and examine and we'll see if we can let our i'm not gonna call him a friend but let the the, the little individual out okay. monies. so falmar yeah, sees hey, look, um, falmar sees a pile of treasure there with gems and weapons and gold i'm gonna get on that side there we go i'm investigating the fresco so you see i rolled that I'm going to look at the box, since I'm here. Look at my book of pay. <laughs> Imagine if that's uh, all your pay. So the, bo <laughs> the box is open <clears throat> and the box is empty. Um, Lorian also has more to see. So let's go to that first. I have finished investigating the box. There is nothing. So, um, <laughs> nut box. But what you got? Nut box with left beef. Is there a string in the box? That box reveals a secret compartment. I gotta go. Oh no. Oh no, do you? But, okay. Yeah, but I'll let you guys keep on keeping on. Okay, I'll control you. Okay. Um, but don't let my little baby die. We gotta make sure we be okay. <laughs> so in the room to the left, um, bye. In the room to the left, I didn't put any uh, tokens in there, but there are um. Many crumbled pieces of stone statues on the ground, and there, the pieces of the stone statues include arms, fingers, legs, eyes, partial faces, toes, torsos, and also pieces of um, the fresco as well. Um, and then in the middle of the room is uh, is the the wooden chest with nothing inside. Weird. And then underneath, underneath the tree, written in common, it says, "In the middle of fig is the key." beneath the fig tree, written on stone. Wait, it says what about the key? In the middle of fig is the key, at the bottom of the tree, written in stone in common. Middle of fig. All right, it's a, is, it, is it a fig tree? The, the fresco, fresco, well, I'll repeat. Uh, it says, um, so uh, there's a, above that, bit of water there in the fountain is a mural painted as a fresco on the walls depicting a fig tree with mm -hmm. mysterious faces of noble individuals painted on the branches it appears like a family tree so it is a fig tree yes yes um and uh, and, and chunks have been taken out of it huh it seems to just have been weathered over time or seismic activity um doesn't seem to be purposeful removal just sort of wear and tear not upkept so i got to 
Yeah, I got a 26 on that investigation, so do I see anything interesting, unusual, depressions, especially around the middle of the tr fig tree and the and the, the fig fruits? Um, basically all that I read are, um, all that you see, but maybe one could interpret the faces as figs, things like that, mm -hmm. but it's just an artistic uh, choice, really. And the, in the middle face, is there like a face near, near the middle? No, there's no face that actually seems to be in the middle. They're more in like a circular formation and there's nothing that you can see is uh, necessarily um, on the fresco that would indicate that there's something that needs to be placed in the center or anything like that. Mm. All right, there's mm. chunks of like fallen fresco and statues and stuff here. All right, you seem can I real see? interested in that piece of artwork up there. It's not that pretty if you ask me. Uh, how have you even seen it? I've been taken in and out of here a lot. I've seen a lot of things. Why have they taken you in and out? What did they do with you? Just that you got. Well, to I was next. Uh, I was next to go. You don't want to see what the fellas look like in the other cells. And trust me, they've interrogated me more than my fair share. I think my humor is the only thing that's been keeping me going longer than these other folks. Then you hear him ha with a hacking cough, gurgling cough. Mm. Same kind of stuff is the oh, stuff. Oh shit, he's got Corona. <laughs> oh no, you got his YouTube video demonetized. Oh hey. wait, no. <laughs> nah, we're good, we're good. I oh, know. Hey, 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 Gnome, do you have the rot by any chance? I don't know. Maybe. Do you have a What does that matter? Well... Well, if you got it, you go and freaking die. Well, maybe that's why I need to get out of here and get back to my people. They're rich and can pay for my healing. Hmm. I think that... Well... If, if, if that temple even still stands at all. Yeah, that's a good point. And, you know, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to whatever temple you're talking about. I know people, I know personal healers. They do house calls, okay? Okay. Do you know how the door gets opened? Of course I do. I told you I've been here a million times. You keep staring at that fresco. The middle right. of fig is the key. What's in the middle of fig? Seeds? No. F-I-G. I is in the middle. Get one of those eyes from the statues and put it in the chest. By the way, that's a lot of gold. You know, you can probably buy a cure with that gold there, Mr. Strongman. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Beef. Uh, look really carefully. I, uh, anybody want to? Um, anybody able to cast detect magic on that pile of treasure there? Yeah, give me a minute. I think Reslin knows detect magic. I'm not sure. But I can do it as a ritual. So. Pick up an eye on the, uh, like a, a piece of eye, I guess, from the room. And how long is I think ritual is like that plus like 10 minutes or something. So just give me a bit. I'm sorry to interrupt you guys, but it's three o'clock, so I've got to go to bed. So, no yeah. problem, man. Yeah, so, should, we, should so, we stop for the day? We could we could totally stop here. This is a good spot. And we've burned through a lot yeah. of content um, and we have a lot more okay. to go. So we can save that for next time. Yeah, because we've, we've been we at it for, for five after hours. five hours. <laughs> yeah, man, I, 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 I make that content. We're good to go. Yeah, no, I got more for next yeah. time. Perfect. Yeah, I'm good for any stopping any time. So just let me know. So now's a good time then. Yeah, let's hey. stop now. This has been great, Steve. Thank you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get juicier right. next time. So we're good. Yep. Yeah. All right. Juice. Uh, team B. Oh, oh, yeah, there's one, more, there's, one more, there's one more thing that happens. When Falmanar steps closer to the gold, it uh, vanishes and then... Vanishes and then... And vanishes. It, it vanishes... Don't tell me there's any more walls. <laughs> there's more walls. Do you like that trick? After all, I'm a jester. No, no, I didn't like your trick. 
I not wonder funny. if you're like laugh. dead or something, honestly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just, well, like already dead. So we'll finish uh we'll finish there. And uh well, yeah, we'll pick up next time. <laughs> Team Beef <laughs> is mad.